imagine you face the dilemma of your average lab rat. You're hungry, and I've hidden your supper under these 10 pairs of cups. Each pair consists of a red cup and a green cup, and the food is just under one of just of the, one of the two cups. Your job is to guess which one. If you guess correctly, you get to eat the food. Otherwise, you get nothing. Now, you know from past experience that the food tends to be under the red cup 70% of the time, and under the green cup 30% of the time. But other than that, where the food is hidden is completely random. So the question is, across all 10 pairs of cups, how many times will you guess red, and how many times will you guess green? If you're the human, there's a good chance that you're going to guess red for seven of the pairs, and green for three of the pairs. But if you're the rat, you'll guess red on every single pair. Well, unfortunately for you, guessing red on seven of the pairs and three on green of the pairs means you're going to eat only about 58% of the time, whereas the rat will eat 70% of the time. So for my thesis, I wanted to know, why are humans so bad at this game? What we think is that humans are thinking about all 10 pairs of cups at once, intrinsically. And when they do this, it's immediately obvious to them that the food will be under the red cup in seven of the pairs and under the green cup in three of the pairs. So, but they still don't know how to order their guesses. So, when they think about any individual given pair, they don't have any extra information beyond the probability of red and green. The result is that every time they guess green, they're foregoing 70% odds of being correct in favor of a bet that only pays out 30% of the time. Now, the good news is we've shown that if you phrase the game so that people focus on one pair of cups at a time instead of all 10 pairs at once, then people start to guess red every time, just like the rat. So what might be happening is that the rat is intrinsically limited to focusing on one pair of cups at a time. Or they might use a simple stimulus response mechanism in which they guess red every time because it's rewarded the most often. In fact, we might be using a similar mechanism to nudge us in the right direction. If you include many pairs of cups in this game, you find that people will eventually switch to the rat strategy. But we don't know why they switch. That's a question we want to examine next. In the abstract, though, this game is about how we make decisions based on probability. We do this every day when we do things like make investments, an area where I think we all hope we behave rationally and optimally. But what we've seen today is that even things like how you phrase this simple game can change the way people behave um, and how they think about probability. So what that means is that we really, if we want people to behave rationally, we really need to know how to phrase the question. Until then, well, if you're asked to wager on whether a rat or a human will win in a game of probabilities, I suggest you bet on the rat. Thank you.